What's up, YouTube? How do you like my haircut? Nice? Yeah? All right. Anyways, I got some cover. I got some comments I want to cover. Uh, Free Range Pancake says, "Hey, moron douchebag! The summit of Mount Everest used to be the bottom of the ocean." I already knew this. Okay. The question I was wasn't for sure about was whether they had actually found giant seashells on top of it. I, I didn't know for sure on that one. If any of y'all know, let me know, and then I will talk about it in one of my videos. So the next one says, you know that the current plate tectonic system, is, uh, this one's by Booney for you, you know that the current plate tectonic system would explain sea fossils found in mountain ranges. I have no problem with this because the Noah's flood would have had a lot to do with causing the current plate tectonic system and it would have had a lot to do therefore with causing the bottoms of oceans to rise out of the water and become mountains. And then he says, we don't literally become dust. So let's think about this. There's one, there's one little fact that I know of where all the dust in your house that you sweep up off the floors and, and it collects behind your house or, or your sofas and everything, uh, a lot of that dust, from what I hear, is body ash. That's dust. Okay, so anyways, uh, that statement, we don't literally become dust, may be true, maybe not true, may, who cares? But whatever we become, it breaks apart, falls apart, and blends in with the dust of the ground. It's still the same idea. That's all over there, and also I said I would talk a little bit about miracles, okay? All right, now I'm not gonna look up the Bible, okay? This is just off the top of my head, okay? Number one, a miracle that cannot be reproduced by science, okay? People talk about the Red Sea and the Reed Sea with the crossing of the Red Sea by Moses and the Israelites, okay? The crossing of the Red Sea happened and then there's a science explanation that says that they actually crossed at the Reed Sea where the winds blow and the winds blow just hard enough that it pushes the water back and then they're able to walk across on relatively you know on ground that they can walk across I don't think it's dry land but that's the that's about the story that it, that goes along with the Reed Sea that's not what happened what the Bible says happened is they were at the Red Sea and they crossed it <clears throat> okay the water split two walls of water okay on both sides of them and then it says one more extremely interesting thing which is the biggest key you don't get dry land and two walls of water from any naturalistic explanation okay there's only been uh, three miracle workers working periods in history okay the time of Moses <coughs> the time the time of <coughs> Elijah and Elisha and then the time of the New Testament prophets whenever Jesus came along and you get them healing people and performing all these miracles and resurrections and stuff okay the the time of Jonah there was a couple of miracles happening there but that was not that was not miracle workers and then the last period was at the, was shortly after the time of Jesus with Paul and Peter and the and the apostles and another miracle is the wedding feast with Jesus whenever he turned water into wine okay it explains that whenever he turned water into wine okay there's a lot of people who like to say oh, okay you know the bots you know they were a little bit rusty or something that day and they poured some sugar and they probably put some sugar in the pots and the rust you know made the water turn kind of red you know they try to give it some sort of scientific explanation however the problem is okay is that they took the wine to the head guy of the party the guy who was leading the party and this wine whenever he tasted it he said y'all saved the best wine till last he said it was the best wine from what they all had been drinking that night. Now this guy's the head of the party. He's not gonna, he's not gonna, he's probably not gonna be drunk. Okay, he's responsible for making sure that all the guests and all the attendants and everybody are being served. And he's he's like the head guy. He's a, he's not gonna be getting drunk. So he's not gonna be making a drunken statement here, saying, "Oh, whatever you give me is the best wine I've ever tasted." He's gonna be sober. Okay, so. 
with that little fact right there means that what they gave him was wine. It was e it's either something you can believe or it's something that you don't believe. It's not something that can be s explained scientifically. Miracles on a whole may leave some evidence behind such as the miracles with Elijah, okay, whenever he killed whenever the his miracles were killing people, okay, such as he would call fi down fire from heaven. Okay, they would probably leave bones and burnt bodies and stuff which doesn't really last for very long but miracles on a whole do not carry cannot be explained scientifically because they are outside of the realm of science and that's what the Bible has the Bible has the miracles laid out in such a way that they either happened or they're lies they didn't happen okay miracles I believe I believe that miracles happened. So that's it. All right, um I'll be back on again tomorrow and y'all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.